let me tell you one another key area and key uh, concept you should always always follow in size system design and this is the second tips for everyone who is preparing for system design in your interview process purposely your interviewer will come some contradicting statement some contradicting requirement and they will try you to prove that your design which you prepared until now is not a valid solution or not appropriate solution for this construct or this requirement so what you will do and it's not about the testing of your only understanding it's about how you are behaving what is your course of action when you realize that your design is not perfectly as per the requirement and the best approach in that time is to navigate with those differences how you will navigate you will start checking the gap which your interviewer is saying and then come up with quickly with your modification in design and tell your interviewer that by this approach if you have a sufficient time explain with the step by step modification and if it is uh, almost last uh, i mean completion uh, time then you just tell them at least how do you approach it that is the way you navigate the gap between you and your interviewer and definitely if if you by composing yourself and you will suggest such a solution your interviewer very much like it so the, bringing this point as a interviewer perspective is to check the candidate does he or she is able to cooperate when they know in the later time that your design needs certain modification that is the major uh, area where interviewer is focusing by putting these kind of constraint i hope you understand my point and i think you can come up with this solution which is a right approach to in system design all right thank you thanks a lot take care bye